Go. Why do you choose to paint this amazing mural of Amanda Gorman? So the whole story goes, uh, I was actually painting another mural down about two, three blocks away mm -hmm. when a woman approached me uh, who works at the San Francisco Zen Center. Mm -hmm. uh, and she asked me, she's like, oh my God, uh, we have this plywood mural we'd love you to do a portrait on. And I was like, sure, sure. And at first it was actually uh, John Lewis who was gonna be my subject matter. Mm -hmm. uh, but then the inauguration happened and literally I received a phone call being like, oh my God, I think we need to change our subject matter to Amanda Gorman. And I was like, brilliant. She was amazing, let's do it. So that's how this mural kind of came to be. Nice. By the way, your painting was awesome. How'd you learn to do that? <laughs> um, I have been painting and drawing since I was about six years old. Wow. So um, just, it was always my passion since I was little and went through just uh, from, you know, just having this passion. I went to school and kept it going till my old age now. <laughs> what does, what does divide, what does diversity mean to you? Um, that is a very good question. For me, I like to think of diversity as being this very important, engaging topic where I think that when people are kind of stuck in their own bubbles, they might not have the, the empathy and compassion of knowing people of all different cultures, all different religions. Um, I just think it's such an important thing to, for all of us to have diversity in our lives, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a favorite African-American painter? Um, yes, um, there is a woman artist and I'm going to brutalize her name. So forgive me, but it's Nijdeka Akuni Crosby. Um, she does these gorgeous large scale works, uh, where she uses almost like transfers and screen printing and then also paints these figures. They're just so beautiful and filled with just so, so many layers. Um, but I will share her name with you properly so you can look her up. Go oh, ahead. Uh, do you like poetry? I do like poetry, but I have to say, um, I don't really read a whole lot of poetry myself, at least not recently. And it really, the thing about Amanda's performance and reading her poetry on inauguration day, it really, it really just filled my heart so much that I, I kind of wanna dabble into more poetry now. Did you hear about the guy who stole all those paintings? No, but I was very curious. I was hoping you'd tell me. He tried to brush it off, but I think he was framed. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> uh, was Amanda Gorman an inspiration to you anyway? Well, I actually didn't know who Amanda Gorman was before this mural, um, but just, I watched a few interviews with her mm -hmm. and she, I don't know, she just like, blew me away. She's brilliant. She's well-spoken. She just, I think she's a very strong voice for her generation. I think she's very important right now. Got it. And what do you like to paint? Uh, I love painting in a figurative style. So not quite ultra realism, but I love uh, painting, you know, vintage imagery from the 1950s, 60s and 70s. Um, I love painting floral paintings. Um, so I'm kind of all over the place, but really I enjoy everything. That's- How'd I do on the interview? You're amazing. Thanks so much for letting me interview you. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome.